Stop, we're gonna go over it. Stop, we're gonna go over it. So we got a call for a Toyota Tacoma that is way off down a mountainside. It's been there for a couple of months and somebody stole the wheels off from it. It's in Espanola, New Mexico. It's like 30 minutes from Santa Fe. So the story is this truck went off the road a couple of months ago and the insurance has not been able to find anybody to recover it. So since then it's been pillaged. My schnitzel truck, it's been pillaged. And somebody pushed it down the hill even further, so it's way down there. We have a pretty big crew. We got Colin back there. We got Tom. Hey. Jamie's going to give us a weather update. Oh, it's like 37 degrees outside, but it's super nice inside. 72 on Jamie's side and 69 on Matt's. <laughs> so this tow rig consists of blue steel pulling the gooseneck trailer with the wrecker on there, and then further back we got Hefe in his truck pulling the more bear. So we're on our way to New Mexico. We're following Matt. This is an interesting job. We had to buy wheels and tires for it. And this is probably the furthest away job we've ever done. I agree. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, I haven't been out on a job in a little while, so it's going to be fun. Yeah, this is going to be an epic job. So since we're headed to New Mexico, we needed an area expert. And our area expert is Colt from Bleepin' Jeep. So we're gonna be picking him up on the way and we're gonna get this problem solved. All right, we've done a little bit of driving today. I don't know if we told you how far away this is from Hurricane, but here's Jamie with an update. I think it's like a 10 hour drive, but it's been pretty. I love coming to places I've never been before. I'm on my phone, but I'm watching Matt's Off-Road Recovery YouTube doing productive things when I care. That's a good boy. All right, we have made it to downtown Farmington. That means we are only a few moments away from meeting up with Colt and making some sort of a plan with him on where we're going and what we're doing, how we're gonna get this rig out. Any thoughts, Tom? No, I have no thoughts at all, but thanks for checking in. All right, so we've been checking out Colt's new place here. It's awesome. I'm just happy that he's not gonna be in the snow anymore. It's warmer here. Okay, so the plan is we are going to continue on to our Airbnb and then Colt is gonna meet us in the morning at the job site. We're gonna go get food first. Yeah, we gotta go get you some food. You guys better go get something to eat. They do have an awesome red lobster here. All right, well, we're gonna go figure something out because this crew, look at them wasting away. I've lost like 10 pounds already. I've lost, I've lost a foot. I did. I, I used to be I used to be 6'3", now I'm 5'3", so. We got, we got to get these guys food. That's the bottom line. All right, we're going to go do those things, and we will see you next time we turn the camera on. Good morning. We made it to the Airbnb. We got a good night's sleep. We got up early. This is New Year's Day, so... We didn't do a whole lot of partying last night, did we? No, it was like straight to bed. And well, know, after dinner. I don't know if good night's sleep is the correct wording for that either. Some of us slept good, some of us didn't. I slept great. I'm excited to see Santa Fe. Never been there. Can't wait to see the saloons and gunfighters. This is gonna be awesome. Oh yeah, it's the Wild West. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it in the movies. Wild Wild West. So the first order of business is to find a Walmart, stock up on supplies, and then we're gonna be meeting Colt and the owner of the vehicle to get the keys, and then we're gonna head up the mountain. We got liquid IV, so when we're climbing up and down the hills, we're hydrated. Got the most important part. We're not gonna starve. Well, we're here at Maverick in Santa Fe, and we're fueling up, getting some breakfast, and then hitting the trail. I'm gonna try one of these. Sausage, Sausage burrito. Get my lumberjack. All right, we're just a few minutes out from the rendezvous point, but that's the mountain we're going up. There's a road up there somewhere. That is all. A few minutes later. All right, we are here at the rendezvous point. This is where we have to make some decisions about what we're dropping off and what we're gonna continue on with as far as vehicles and trailers are concerned. We are here about 30 minutes early, which is right on time. Here I was trying to 
be punctual and beat you by 45 minutes and you're here before me. Yeah. So whenever I go to a strange land, I really like to have an area expert to steer me straight. <laughs> Here's today's area expert. He is a resident of New Mexico and we're in New Mexico. That's as good as I'm gonna get, right? <laughs> Probably because I've only been a resident for about as long as you've been here. Look at this guy, he's like an <laughs> ox. I have not heard from the owner, so I think waiting here is a waste of our time and he could drive up there. Okay. So let's go. We got the wrecker in front of us and Colton is S10 and Hefe is coming behind in his truck. We're going to see how far we can get it in. So far the road's nice and smooth, but it is getting steep fast. All right, we're at snow level, so we have ice to contend with. So we just got to the pin and it is crazy steep. We're gonna have a good time. This thing drops off, it's super sharp. I don't know that we can pull something up that straight, it's, let alone get down to it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have, like, this is like repelling. That's gonna be good. Do we have eyes on it? Oh, yup. It's just right here, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, are you kidding me? It's steep, but it's not. Wow, this is way steeper than I thought. How did he get down there without ruining all these oh, trees? Yeah, it looks like he, he came up that way. So we have to roll tires down this. <laughs> yeah. we, if we roll them, they're gone, man. All right, I want smoke show in front of me. Okay. I'm gonna back up right here, pretty close to the edge. And then um, smoke show in as close as possible. And the more very in as close as possible. You want all the winches so pointed. I want, I want four winches. Um, we're basically deadlifting this. Yeah. Hefe, <laughs> will you take your team and start organizing what you're going to do? So right now, the only people I'm affecting is Colt and Tom. There you go. You're right on the line. I'd stop there. Probably right there. Right there. This right on the cliff edge. <laughs> we got some freedom winch lines here. Nice. Do you want a different thing? So we're gonna let that team handle the high angle stuff, and us old man will stay up here and tell them what to do. Well, I'll go down. I kind of want to check it Colt's out. Colt's ready to. No, you check I got it out. my. I got my running shoes. I ain't on. gonna stop you from nothing. Uh -oh. You want me just stand all the way and I'll get down there? I got it. Uh. Do we have a bag? Now we just send them off down the hill. I got it. That's a <laughs> terrible idea. Roll. You like my cute gloves? Uh, Stolen from my mom. I'm putting in the tools. So, sawzall. What about lug nuts? Lug nuts are right here. Okay. Sawzall with a battery. Here, let me give you this one too. Then we can double down on Do two. Do two? Do two per winch line. And that way, that's what I was thinking. It might be the fastest. So we don't have to go back up. It'll be them. twice as fast. Twice as here. fast. Go roll them. Send it. See what happens. Send them. Yeah. Okay. Don't go down with them, Matt. I'm gonna. Are you okay. Stand back. Freeze. Freeze. Then. I don't know. We're just kind of bullying them. Yeah. Look at that. Right over the cactus. Perfect. It's going great. Oh. Uh, turn. Turn. They need to be steered. All right. I'll head down. Okay. Bye, Tom. I'll mess it Look up fine by myself. Are. So we're using Freedom Winch lines for our winch extensions, and they're just so handy. Okay, Tom, 
You gotta work faster, cause I wanna push these off right now. Hey, are you just launching them, or are you gonna? Well, they'll be controlled. Ish. Here they go. Until right, I come I'm down not... with it. You should have a camera down there. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go down next. That one's much more controlled. Oh. Yeah, I lost it too soon. Yeah. Go ahead. You know, you're supposed to be up here, Colt. What are you doing? He wants to look at it. I don't know what the camera's catching, but this is kind of treacherous coming down here. Tom comes down like a mountain goat. Makes it look easy. Tom, watch the rocks. <laughs> There's rocks out here? Rocks? No one said anything about rocks. As long as they're not sharp and jagged and hard and heavy. Well, I might not be helping a whole lot, but at least I'm filming and I can stay up here. Good times, huh? Good times. When we hook these cables up, I want them hooked to the back axle on each side. Okay. Good. I'm getting that adrenaline rush, the recovery rush. Do you live for this moment? I do. I hauled this <laughs> truck a quarter of the way across the United States to do this. Good old heavy wrecker here. Look at that. There's a Chad Fab sticker even hiding right there. I've never seen that one. Glad you got a hold of those, Cole. So, here's where we hooked up down to the axle. Get that tail light out of the way. Before I suck this thing up, um, we're gonna go and throw these wheels in here. That way they don't go down the mountain, <laughs> just in case. Like that one's trying to do right here. Yeah. Is this rope gonna pull uh -oh. good? Oh, you got lucky right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are about ready to start pulling. Tell him I'm gonna put some pressure on the driver's side first. Okay, he's gonna put pressure on the driver's side first. Hey, is that tire? Can we put a tire on that side? Yes. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, we, we could, but it's pretty treacherous under there, and there's a big yucca right there in the way, so it's maybe better. Mind, keep pulling. We could have got one of the tires on right there, but it fell back down. How's that wind blowing? Is it looking good? Is he pulling both or just. I think he's using a little bit of both. Yeah. Do you think we can get that one on now? All right, hold up right there. I'm going to try and put the back tires on. They literally just the cut. Look what they did. They just cut the speaker out. I know. But oh, that's somebody how you do it in a hurry. Yeah. You know what you need? You need the bleep and jeep foot pad on here. Let us give it a water. And it won't, well, and it doesn't kick out. It's like wearing a shoe versus a bare foot. Oh, yeah. like that? Yep, just like that. Is that working, Colt? Um, for the second. I think it will be somewhere right here at 1.30. I'm going to say 1.15 it's going to be on the road. It's I'm also predicting that they're going to flip one of those tires out and it's going to roll clear down to there. I'm saying that we're getting up here in like two hours. I'm saying like noon. It's 10.30, 12.30. You think we'll be eating lunch in the back of that thing? 12.30, yeah. Okay, one tire started. Front look. So let's see if we can just dig it out, maybe. Get this uh, beaver oh, trap off of here. Tire on. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. Tell Matt to send down the torque wrench so I can torque the lug nut. So Hefe just radioed up. They've got the passenger rear. Torque wrench so he can torque the lug nuts down. 
I I bet he does, but that request has been denied. <laughs> you hear the pain in that in his voice? So they've got the rear passenger on, they're working on the front passenger. We've got the truck stabilized. I mean these are guitar string. Yeah. You want part of a rotor? So that's gonna keep it from rolling if I don't get that out. It's gonna catch for sure. But let's see if I can get it. There we go. Okay. Oh look, it's a two-piece rotor. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know how that came off. Is it sheared off? It's not even sheared off inside. Maybe he had a spare in the back. I'm thinking about going for a ride right now. Oh, that would go so fast. <laughs> Before you knew it, you'd be, I would be smashing I'd be in the, the bumper. Bottom. Here, Tom, you want to cut that little tree out of the way? Hold strong, little branch. Thank you, little roots. Please stay strong. Oh, Holly wishes everybody a happy new year. Right here. Should I do a Holly accent? Happy new year, my lovelies. How good was that? Matt, that was spot on. <laughs> do you think we could stick a winch over it and lift up the other side? All right, so what we're trying to do we're lifting it up the back of oh. this oh, so it'll go up onto that rock and then we, we're hoping we don't have to jack it up much higher to get the spare tire okay on. we're ready we're on your car we'll go what do you think about getting the uh, colt's winch ran out because i'm i'm reaching the maximum of this to hook down to them? Yeah. I think we should. I think we should put more on. What did you pull me? Whoa! <laughs> I think you I, just push me I, think I got that. <laughs> I have my hands in my pocket. I have it on video <laughs> proof, so. <laughs> um, let's do that. I already Matt, we really like yeah. these That's other like winches it. helping as soon as possible. So we hooked up the Morvair and the Smoke Show. Took their winches, hooked them together, and now we're running a Freedom winch line down to the bottom so it pulls from the center because we need pulling power. I just about slid down on this thing. Tell us what you found down there. All sorts of parts, but mostly broken parts. That is a heck of a climb up here and I'm dying of heat. We have really made the triangle of death. <laughs> it's the capital Y of death. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> So this needs to go into the back of it. We've got the banana and smoke show hooked together with one, sending this down the middle. So this just needs to go in the back of the receiver so we can get three lines hooked up to it. Uh, we'll hook this up to the Toyota, give us a little more pulling power. So the way we, we've got these two lines coming in and going to one, that's how we can steer the truck. So we were able to pull it over this way with these rigs because that's what we're using them for. And then this one, of course, you got the twin line so you can walk it. So we can walk it and we can steer it, which is working out good. Are you in the triangle of death right now? I'm in the capital Y of death. Capital Y. We don't have a lot of choice right now. So we just have to listen and run. <laughs> the good thing about these synthetic lines is when they break, they pretty much just fall to the ground. They don't have any weight in them. So even if you do get hit with them, it's not like getting hit with a steel cable. I think I've witnessed two break and every time I'm just shocked because they just fall to the ground. Fall to the ground. Oh yeah, we got it. We're gonna get this front tire on and we'll be rolling. That's about 150 feet up there. All right, you are good to start walking it up. Okay, we've got to hook the front winch up to something, so you're gonna to have to hang on just a minute. Keep coming. Keep coming. Whoa. Where do you want this hook to? His ball, the ball or? Go under the ball. There. Okay. Tighten that thing up. That's why my fingers are numb. 
not in the way of the road. Well, you back in the car, didn't you? I think, I think we can just connect right here. So we got Hefe's truck here, and not only have we got the Wrecker anchored to the back of it, but we've got the Morver anchored to the front of it. Okay, go tell him, ask him what he wants us to do. Hold on one second. Okay, what, what do you want us to do? We ready to start pulling? Pull the driver's side. Driver's side. Ready? <laughs> This is working. It's always much better than the razor. Yeah. Pretty much dead, dead weight coming up out of here. It is so close. It's coming up so nice. We're gonna be done quick here. Okay, don't move. You wanna just pull it down? Throw it in the back of the truck. You loose? Yep. Okay, I got it. He's unhooked up there. All right. So we're taking this winch extension out. Oh man. What's the matter here? Rock. We were taking it out. Whip it. Quite stuck. So we just took one inch extension out. Now we're going to go ahead and try to get this one back down there and hooked up. That's all we got on the winch drum. We'll get you something else. We need like 10, 15 feet. That's all of it right there. So if you just want to get out of the way, we can suck it up with these two winches right, and then see what will happen. Leaving it hanging. Has that winch got room? Yeah, he's going to run out on that one. He's only got like another foot. It's really going hard into the tree. He needs to go... Colt needs to pull for more of an angle. You still need about 10 feet. All right, we're gonna toss you a strap. You ready? I'm going deep. It's like a foot short. <laughs> if we had a long axle. soft shackle, it might have made it. We got one more shackle here. I'm just gonna well, we'll, we'll probably need it when we hook this other tree, other side up. Yeah. It's right here. Seems to be tracking away from the tree a little bit now. Okay, you're good. Sing that. Oh man, what should that come from? It's uh, 
I know. Okay, now that I forgot it, now I'm going to go uh, person. So, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, there we go. It's a beautiful day in the I'm really digging these gloves. Rat stolen from his mom. Well, she had different gloves. Actually, his mom's taking care of him. Just like a good mother does. I just found a brake line. It's all right. Go right around it. Not like it works anyways. Oh yeah, these rocks right here are gonna be a problem. Nah, that's a problem. They're gonna go down is what's gonna happen. To our elevation here, according to my Garmin GPS, 7,961 feet. High enough to be cold. What is the temperature right now? What do you think? Know, probably 40-ish. 37. Okay. Mostly cloudy. Yeah. It's climbing it. They're going to break free. It's and climbing. Some of those are going to break free and go tumbling. <laughs> no one does my knowledge. It's pure. going. It's going over uh, much farther. Stop. Hold up, we're gonna go over. We're gonna go over. Stop, we're gonna go over. Stop, we're gonna go over. We're gonna let one of the lines loose and we'll go ahead and hook that on that B pillar or the C pillar on the back. This one's gotta go over the top of everything. Here, Colt, come help me pull. This is going over all of them, right? Yeah, it's gonna go over the top of everything. Come right here to me. Gotcha. Tag, you're it. We gotta get out of here. Mitchell, look at that one, FA. She's coming. Dang it, none of those rocks went. What? I know. None of those rocks went down. Oh, yeah. This job is definitely hands down way too. Hey, you better run over to this other winch line. I said 1.30, my dad said 1.15. He's starting to slack off now. 
Yeah, he wants to. <laughs> um, Brett, will you unhook that from the B pillar? Yeah. Where do you want to hook it up to? Somewhere to the front. Yeah. I like him. So Jamie, you're not hooked to anything anymore, so you're going to be paying really close attention on how much you are pulling. Okay, and I'm just going to follow you up. I just want to bring it up onto yeah. the road. Okay, I'm going to go that way with everything, so it should miss you. Okay. But and if I'm not, just you can stop. Until you're... Okay. That worked. Oh, right. this is so warm. It's nice. Oh, my God. Hands down I'm there on freezing. the muffler. I am freezing to death. Get the saws all in. Okay. Let's let's use those slings to, to protect these ropes. Okay. Yep. Everywhere. <laughs> okay, that one's good. Okay. We're gonna have to tighten them back up. We pulled really hard. Oh, I got it. I got that. It's gonna go right off this mountain. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right, so Jamie apparently won the time guess. All so right. high five. What, what time is it right now? 1.38 or 12.38, excuse me. Oh, so we were up here before 12.30 even. Yeah, so that was awesome. We're just gonna roll down to the rendezvous point and that's where we're gonna eat our sandwiches. Yeah, sandwiches. I'd say that went pretty smooth. Yeah, yeah, I nailed your time and we are rolling off the mountain. It's awesome. Now we can do some sightseeing before we leave. Look out there. We made it off of that mountain. I think it was, what was it, like 11 miles? About 11 miles. Dirt road. 
road? Well, stepping stone was used for more than just a transport, which is a good thing we brought it up. It made a good anchor to stop the Morbear and the wrecker from going off the cliff. All we have left is to run the Toyota to Albuquerque, which we'll probably handle that as well. And then we'll be done for the day. All right, so it is lunchtime, but Hefe is in a hurry to get this truck dropped off in Albuquerque, and it's getting late. So we're gonna load this up while Jamie makes sandwiches. So Hefe has something stuff in his mouth, and we're gonna send him down the road. That's not going anywhere. Delicious. The mom of the group took care of us. PB and J's. Mm -hmm. Tom Tom's happy with yep. that. I feel like I'm at home. <laughs> That's a good lunch. Well, that it's, went amazingly well. That did. Good job, guys. Couldn't have done it without our area expert. So here's the thing. <laughs> we used every single vehicle we brought up there not just because we had it, but because we needed it. <laughs> Worked out good. Yeah. How is it? A little bit tight. Brett's new truck. Yeah. Slow it, Rick, Rick, slow it. All right, good job, good job. All right. Good morning, it is day three of this three-day trip. We are headed back home, pulling off here to top off the fuel tanks before we head off across the wild, wild west. Wild, wild west. So we got two points of interest today that I wanna show you. One, we're getting a late breakfast with Colt and his crew in Farmington, and then we're gonna stop at Four Corners and I am going to stand in four states at once. Impossible. Who's been here before? I've been to the gate during COVID and I couldn't get in. I've been here before it was all of this. I was here when I was really little. I don't actually remember being here, but I know that I have been. I used to live in Blanding, so this is like, what, 30 miles away? <laughs> this is the this is the big deal in Blanding? <laughs> yeah. I'm officially yeah, in you four imagine states. They didn't have... Oh, look at that. <laughs> Hey, just train just like the dog. <laughs> Most people go like this. <laughs> so I was born in New Mexico, Fort Sumner, New Mexico. I have lived in Arizona, lived in Ganado, Arizona. And I've lived in Utah most of my life. But I actually lived not too far from here, Montezuma Creek, right over there. So my dad taught high school at Whitehorse High. All right, well, this is literally why we decided to take this trip. I said, if we can go do this job, we can stop at Four Corners, and here we are. That's pretty much the whole tour. Yeah. It'll make a grown man do really weird things. So me and my brother are twins. We're Navajo twins. And yeah. Put, where where are you from? There. Montezuma Creek, Utah. Hey, I lived in Montezuma Creek. Oh, oh, yeah. So does it get, does it give me res oh. cred if I yes. call it Mussy Creek? Yes. <laughs> Must yep, must it. All right, we have some more road ahead of us and then we will be home. So we often get asked, where is the farthest job we've ever taken? And the answer is the one that we just did in Española. Yes, that was way, way out there. But this is the end of day three. It was a success. We are back on our home turf and it feels good. 
We're gonna go get some sleep. And food. <laughs> sleep in our own beds, eat our own food. Thanks for watching. Did Thank you me. make a trade? I, I made a trade, check that out. Yeah, choose one, give me yeah, that. Really? Yeah, we're half freaks, me and my dad. Like, he right roots for caterpillars. No, no. This one? What do you think? Huh? No, I'm, going, I'm going this one. This one right here? I like that one.